E aí galera, eu sou o Nóbrega, beleza? Chegando com mais uma gameplay aqui no canal. Sejam todos bem-vindos. A gente tá trazendo bastante gameplay não comentada, então eu gostaria que vocês deixassem aí se vocês preferem gameplay comentada ou não comentada, que a gente vai dar preferência para aquilo que vocês escolherem, beleza? Então vamos fazer o seguinte, conhece o jogo, não conhece o jogo, deixa aí nos comentários aquilo que vocês estão achando e se inscrevam no canal, fortalece I know it's silly, sis, and it doesn't solve a thing, but whenever I feel like everything's getting too loud, I just close my eyes and listen. It calms me, the knowledge that even at this hour, even here in Yesterby, there is always something going on that isn't about me. I then open my eyes and take it all in. Isn't it wonderful? The air, the ocean, our homes like flotsam, washed up on a beach at the end of the world. Gallia coming home late from the clinic. Melville's hammer doing a late night shift in his workshop. Nothing ever stands still. That's it. I'm making dinner. What about Angie? She can have the leftovers for all I care. She really didn't tell you where she went, Connie? No, but she said she'd be home for dinner. Even when she's not here, she has to make everything about herself. That's not who she is. Did she forget her keys? It's not locked. Who is it? Hun? Oh, that foolish girl. Huh. Looks like your sister robbed a bank or something. Concordia, go to your room, please. Why? I'm not going to repeat myself. What's going on? Um, hi there. back? There are police at the door. Mom seems scared. Scared and really angry. Where are you? Why are you still not home? Look at you, all cramped up. I'm probably just hanging out with Zek at the beach. You didn't want to see anyone today. I didn't? You told me this morning. Morning. Hey. Mom won't buy me new buttons. She said, I would only use them as eyes on new plushies. She wants me to grow up and make sweaters instead. Well, the winter will get cold. I've made enough sweaters this year. And I am grown up. It's she who keeps treating me like a child. 
To be fair, in her generation, plushies were just for kids. Oh, I don't care about the plushie. I just want to make something complex. Like, like a wild chimera with two heads. Or a Bavarian Wolpertinger. <laughs> what did Dad say? <laughs> he laughed and said he would help me name it. But it doesn't need a name. It's just a toy. They're being so simple. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that one by yourself, without me. Where are you going? I don't know yet. Can I come with you? Better not. I'm in a pretty foul mood today. I have an appointment with Galia later. Everyone else will have to wait for a better day. I should be home for dinner, though. Oh. Okay. I'll start work on the Wolpertinger then. All that raw wool on my shelf, it needs to be made into something. Something with antlers, two rabbit paws, and a beak. Mom will freak out when she sees that thing. I'll try not to be too late. Raw wool. I like that. See you this evening, sis. I'm almost finished drawing the design. So where are you? I'm right here, aren't I? You're not. Uh, okay, let's try not to freak out. Come on, take my hand. <laughs> You're shaking, sis. Try to close your eyes and do what you always do. What do you hear? Mom shouting. Okay, no closed eyes then. Let's focus on something in my room. Something we can hold on to. We may even find a clue as to what the hell's happening. personal masterpiece. I am prepared to testify that Mom could never pull something off like that. Pillows are just as boring as sweaters. Boring is good. Boring is just what we need right now. Your camera bag is empty. Of course it is. The sunlight down the coast was near perfect today. Generosity from the heavens, as Mom would say. Maybe I went out to take some pictures of the view. poem before you went out? The town resounds, the ocean just glistens, everything grinds, nothing ever listens. The tide never minds, the dawn never wanders, for the closer the distance, the distance it, I don't know, ponders, squanders, whatever I had in mind I never finished it. Seriously, I was never good with endings. Connie? Would you mind coming down for a moment? Oh, Angie. I'm sorry, I just wanted to fetch your sister. Connie? What were you doing in Angela's room? What's going on? A Angie... She's... <laughs> Connie, your sister... There's been an accident. What kind of accident? Dad? He doesn't seem to hear me. Get out of my house! Wait here. Should we... follow him?
What are you doing? I'm making dinner. Where are the police? I asked them to leave. My angel would never take her bike down the coast at this hour. Would you mind getting me some fresh potatoes from the pantry? Oh, hon. We need to tell Connie. Mom, what's going on? Connie, would you mind setting the table, dear? Dinner will be ready soon. We have to make ourselves heard. Or is that wrong? Would it be better to give her time? What did the police say? I'm sure those officers only meant well. But they don't know her like I do. Dad? Stop treating me like a child. Tell me what's going on. I can't do this right now. She won't listen. Go to the living room and sit down. No, don't go. I can't be alone. I'll come with you. Honey. I'm dead, aren't I? So, uh, the police came by to talk to us. Keep in mind that they're still in shock. So it's just words. Unprocessed. Inconclusive. Raw wool. They can't hear me like you can, and are probably assuming the worst. It's our job to take that wool for them, and weave it into something coherent. Are you paying attention, Loom? Listen to me, and everything will be fine. Everything will make sense, okay? <clears throat> can you do that? Connie? Yes, I can do that. You can do what? I can listen. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. Uh, last night, at roughly 10.30, Angela was involved in an accident. She was riding her bike out of town when she was hit by a car. Damn, what? Oh, God. Is she all right? Come on, answer her question. Is she all right or isn't she? The driver called an ambulance, but they arrived too late. Too late? Too late for what? What are you talking about? Stop mincing words. If something's happened to her, just say it. It means the Lord has taken my angel back under his wing. Oh, screw you all. Son. Stay away from me! Poor Zap. Give him a moment, Bean.
I know we are all still hurting from the last time something like this happened. Once again, try to be there for each other. That also includes giving each other space where it's needed. Oh, Pia, I am so sorry. How is that even possible? I'm sorry, I can't be here any longer. Honey, the arrangements. We can do that inside. I need to sit down. Blanche, Jasper? Here. Do you have a minute? Of course. Thank you all for being here. I'll be at the clinic all day, making calls on Pia and Axel's behalf. The clinic? If you want to talk or have any questions. I used to be there a lot. Feel free to drop by, at any time. It might even be the last place I went to before the accident. Let's ask Gallia about it soon. My memory is a bit clogged. We should also look for Zek. He didn't look too good when he ran off. It's fine. I can look after Eli. Thanks, Lee. No problem. I can't believe it. Did you know? No. say, but I'm a stupid mess right now. You know, the way everyone just stood there when Gallia told them? They didn't even ask if it was really Angie that they had found. Seriously, what if all this is just some kind of sick joke? For all we know, she could be standing right around the corner, laughing her ass off. It's not a joke she would make. But other than that, you're right. She's still here. voice if I listen closely. Can't you hear her? Uh, why? No. No, I can't hear her. Why would you say something?
Did you hear that? Mom's calling. Time to go home, I guess. You are. You want to head over to our place and have tea and cinnamon buns with Lee? I'm not hungry, thank you. And if you're trying to keep me busy, you don't have to. I have things to do already. That sounds important. Better not tell her. She wouldn't understand. You'd think I was crazy if I told you. Try me. Don't. I could talk to her about a lot of things, but some stuff she just wouldn't want to hear. My ghost helping you would be one of those. Can I ask you a question? Angie saw you at the clinic yesterday. Did she say anything to you about why she wanted to leave here? I'm afraid that falls under doctor-patient confidentiality. Good question, sis. Please, don't make it any harder than it already is. At least promise me you won't get yourself into trouble, okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I've gotta go. Bye. Connie? Hey, River. You... you wanna hang out? It's okay if you don't want to. Don't feel obligated. I just want you to know that if you need someone to pull you away for a while, just ask, okay? Okay. What a mess. How is everyone? What do you think? Right. Should I put on some tea? No, not for me. There's still a lot I need to take care of. It's amazing how you can go on like that. I just... And I wasn't as meshed with her as you. You were even closer to her than her mom. I was just her doctor. If you want to do me a favor, look after the... My little loom. Hey, Mom. Don't you ever run off like that again. Your dad and I have to go into town for a short while. Auntie Galia will look after you. So be good. And don't cause any trouble, you hear? Okay. We'll be back later. Love you. My little loom. This is serious. Galia hasn't been our auntie since we were little kids. At least she's not the type to hug us out of nowhere.
Hello? I'm calling from yesterday. Am I speaking with the mortician? Yes, I'm her mother. I forgot to ask something earlier. No. No, I don't. Yes, about the clothes. Yes. May I ask who is going to dress her? Yes? Yes, I, I will be there soon. Thank you. God bless you. Goodbye. There it is. You always looked so pretty in blue. She always liked that one, didn't she? She did. We shouldn't dawdle. Yeah, we shouldn't. Hey, you guys. Are you okay? 
Should we get going? Thanks for doing this, Jasper. Sure. The nav says it should take less than 45 minutes. So we shouldn't be away too long. We are going there to see our daughter. So it will take as long as it needs to. Okay. Let's get cracking then. Son, you want to talk? No.
Mom? Did you know? Yeah. Pia called us last night. Oh. Bean, this is so horrible. You're out of your mind. I'm not letting you abuse my daughter's name for your vain project. Come on, it was just a pitch. No need to get upset about it. Jeez. Honey, are you coming? Yes, dear. Thanks for the ride, Jasper. Yeah, sure. Oh, Mom, it's... stay strong for Connie, but it's so hard. I want to be there for her, but I don't know how. She's so far away. Give her time. Just let her know that you're there. But how can she be so cold? Angie was her sister. Everyone grieves differently. <laughs> this is all such a bad dream. It is all real. And there's nothing abnormal about how you or Connie feel. I'll... I'll wait then. And I'll wait with you. Thanks, Mom. idea that we rename the boat lodge after Angela. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it did seem like a good idea at the time. That's the second time that you've made this mistake. Oh, please. After Shemri's accident, when you told Pia that you were planning to take over Shemri's project and make it your own. You know very well that I didn't mean it like that. But it is in effect what you did, and what you are still doing. But this is about their legacy. Jemray and Angela did so much for Yesterby, but no one ceased. All I am trying to do is to share their ideas and vision with the world. I can only hope that someone will do the same for me when I'm gone. But it's not their legacy. It's become yours. That's not... I mean, it's... Oh, fine. I'm a slimy, exploitative businessman. I get it. No... But you have a tendency to make things about yourself. How was your day, by the way? Let's talk about this tomorrow. I'm pretty tired. Okay. What a day, huh? I thought there would be more... I don't know. More of anything, really. Instead, it's all so... muted. Hey, Connie? Are you okay? I don't understand. I know. It's all so weird, isn't it? No. I don't understand. 
understand what it is that you want me to do. I... I want you not to be alone, and for the others not to be alone. And if you can help them get through to the other side of whatever the hell this is, that would be even better. Why me? No one listens to me. Right now, all I want is to stay home and... But I can't do that either. Because you're not there. I'm wherever you are, sis. And of course they won't listen to you. They never listen to me either. The only way to get through to them is to figure out what makes them tick. How? By remembering all the stuff we went through together. But first, we need to prepare. Like, I always put on my jacket when things got rough, remember? How do I look? Old? Old or older? Grandma used to wear a jacket like that. Huh. Now that you mention it... So, this is perfect. Grandma was tough. This will do nicely. Why do you want to change so much? I just need to make a statement. If they see me wear this, they'll know I mean business. You still look old. Let's hope you're right. I'm fed up with everyone treating me like a child. I'll go out and I'm going to make a difference. Let this piece of cheap fabric be my witness. I worried a lot since then. Maybe seeing it will jog memories. Look for it in my room tomorrow. It should still be there. about Connie. It must be hard for her. You wouldn't know it if you talked to her. She acts as if nothing's happened. Maybe she's only protecting herself. She asked me about Angie's checkup. Why? I think she's blaming me for the accident. What does one thing have to do with the other? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I said something stupid to Angie that made her... Stop it right there. That's ridiculous. You were treating her. That's your job. I guess you're right. How long has it been since Lee moved in with you? Three years? Four? Three. You know, you make a great couple. I'm truly happy for you. <sighs> Thank you, but let's stay on topic, okay? I just received your blood analysis. It looks like you've not been taking your meds very diligently in the last few weeks. Yeah.